I'm Dr. Leslie Pritchett, the Chief Scientific Officer of BrainScope. Thank you for your time in watching this video. For your interest, each short video in the series focuses on a different aspect of BrainScope One technology. This video focuses on BrainScope One publications. Throughout the more than 10 years of BrainScope One device development, many investigator-initiated publications appeared in the peer-reviewed literature. These publications can be thought of as demonstrations of clinical usability or feasibility in the acute environment, comparisons to standard of care, sensitivity to structural brain injury, methodological advances, validation of BrainScope 1 algorithms, and early clinical findings from BrainScope's National Registry. This presentation is meant to help orient you in selecting publications that will help elucidate areas of specific interest to you. Early on, it was important to demonstrate the feasibility of acquiring BrainScope data at the point of care in the emergency department where EEGs were rarely performed. These papers demonstrated integration of BrainScope into patient evaluation without impeding care pathway, Reliable data could be obtained rapidly with minimal training. Potential utility in a variety of conditions with altered mental status, but markedly in TBI. The next papers made comparisons with the standards of care and demonstrated superior accuracy in identifying head-injured patients likely CT positive using BrainScope biomarkers compared with standard clinical CT decision rules. Also, the potential for 33.3% reduction in unnecessary CT scans for mild head injury patients using BrainScope 1 was demonstrated. The next set of papers demonstrated poor agreement between neuroradiologist CT scan reads, supporting the need for more quantitative measures of evaluation of CTs. Reliance on symptom-based criteria could lead to serious risks due to underscanning a high percentage of head injured patients who were CT positive were found to have normal standard assessment of concussion scores in these two papers. BrainScope detection of structural injury was shown to be extremely high for the identification of hematomas in mildly presenting head injured patients regardless of type, epidural, subdural, intracranial, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and the accuracy is independent of the size and depth of the bleed these articles debunk the black box, describing the basic principles underlying the methodology used by BrainScope in the development of classifier algorithms, including algorithms for the elimination of artifact, features extracted from the brain electrical activity, informed data reduction, and classification methodologies. BrainScope 1 validation trials, both the derivation and results are shown in these papers with superior performance of BrainScope 1 structural injury classifier demonstrated in this independent prospective FDA validation trial with extremely high sensitivity and negative predictive value with specificity well above that of current standard guidelines. Also demonstrated was a clear and significant relationship between the BFI and severity of clinical functional impairment. Using data from the BrainScope 1 National Registry, these papers showed integration of BrainScope in the assessment of mild head injured patients, GCS 13 to 15, including concussion and MTBI, was demonstrated to have the potential to greatly reduce ED referrals from urgent care centers and to reduce unnecessary CT referrals in the emergency department. This slide lists all the publications pertaining to the clinical use of BrainScope 1 and publication package is available upon your request. Thank you for your attention and I urge you to view other videos in the series.